Hai, hai Odoi. Currently three o'clock in the morning after I told myself I would stop filming. Oh, I forgot to get my products. You know what? I'm gonna put them up on the screen. So basically today, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing a twisted bantu knot out style. I have a mirror over here because that's what I'm looking at. Basically, this is the style that I did in my last couple videos and on my commentary channel. A lot of y'all are requested for this video. Um, basically, as you can see, I blue dried my hair. The products that I use on my hair, I use. I'm gonna put it up on here. Green. I use the Sacred Tear Spray Leave-In Conditioner and then I use my Mango and Shea Butter Mix. It was whipped. I didn't make it, but I got it from an Amazon shop that makes them. It keeps my hair moisturized and it protects my hair. The mango butter moisturizes my hair and the shea butter protects my hair. I use shea butter as a heat protectant. I blue dry my hair on high heat, medium speed. And as you can see, it's not perfectly straight, but that's it's, it's okay. Let me separate my hair in a few sections. Hold up, y'all. I'm gonna do medium size bantu knives. The product that I'm going to be using today is the Camille Rose Naturals Almond um, Jai Twisting Butter. I use a small one this much because I don't want my hair to be dry. I want my hair to be wait. I don't want my hair to be wet. I don't want my hair to be wet when I wake up. Let me see. I know that it sounds like it's harsh. I promise you it's not. Let me. Yeah, I put too much. Then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is y'all look so crusty. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna get my hair. And I'm gonna twist it. I'm gonna twist all the way down to the bottom. There we go, there we go, there we go. As you can see, there's a twist. Now we're at the ends. I'm gonna comb the ends. I'm gonna a little bit of butter. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Comb them again, or brush them again with my Denman brush. And I'm going to twist it. And then I'm gonna bantu knot it up. It's very simple. As you can see, this twist is small, so the bantu knots are gonna be more defined. Like, the bigger the bantu knot is, the looser and puffier your hair will be. The smaller the bantu knot, the more um defined your hair will be. And it'll, it'll last longer. Y'all could probably barely see it. Don't worry, you'll be able to see it better when I get to the front. But this is basically the process of where. So I'm probably gonna speed do the back of my head because you can't really see the back of my head as much as you can the front or the sides of my head. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And I'm gonna get a rubber band because my hair likes to unravel when I'm sleeping. And I'm gonna tie it up. I'm gonna go ahead and speed do the back of my head. That's the first spin to not basically. side i decided to make them a tad bit bigger i shouldn't have, i made the ones in the back kind of small because like the back of my hair tends to get frizzy very easily and quickly i'm gonna go ahead as you saw i brushed it out i'm gonna get a little bit of product and distribute it all throughout the section then once that is done i'm gonna go through and brush it and comb it out again y'all this is so simple it's very easy just like my head wrap tutorial that i did then i'm gonna twist it up and the twist i think this would be like pretty hopefully this comes out right and better than last time as you can see i'm twisting it because last time i did it my hair was kind of wet and too it like it wasn't as defined as i would like it to be so i'm trying this again then i'm gonna get to my ends I'm still gonna wrap my ends though there it is now i'm gonna wrap it like this i'm gonna twirl it not gonna do it too tight at the root then i'm gonna wrap it Ooh. can y'all see hold up dog hold up oh a bantu knot twirl it ah like that, like that. You know what, we're gonna redo that when we get to this side. Basically, then I'm gonna get my rubber band 
gonna wrap it around my root because I don't want my ends to be poking out or messing up. Uh, let me, you know, in fact, let me go ahead and do it over here on this side too, so y'all can see. The section's not too big, the section's not too small. I need to oil my edges and lay my edges because they look like they done been through hell and back, honey. We'll brush out the section, get a little bit of product. Wait, I need more product than that. Get a little bit of product. Put it throughout the hair section. Then after that, brush it out like so, like that. Oh, this is a far back. Then I'm going to get it and twist it like a regular two strand twist out. Then you can always get a little bit and put some product at the end to smooth out the product, like smooth out your ends so they'll be easier to twirl when you're trying to twist up the twist because I hate blunt ends. I probably shouldn't have cut my hair, but my hair needed to be cut because my ends look horrible. Then I'm gonna twirl, twirl my hair in my hands like that. Then I'm gonna start the bantu knot like this. I'm gonna twirl my hair on itself basically. That's what a bantu knot is. You're twirling the hair on itself. I remember it took me forever to get used to doing bantu knots, but when I finally got it, I was just like, whoo, okay, child. But basically, then I'm gonna get a rubber band, twirl the rubber band on my root of the bantu knot so my hair won't unravel. And there you go. The next day, my hair should be dry. I look like the germ emoji. I have a mirror over here that I'm looking at. Please be, oh, 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 y'all. Oh wait, I gotta take a thumbnail picture, hold up. Oh my goodness, I think this actually came out. <laughs> okay, I forgot my oil. Okay, so I got this Huey hair oil. Y'all, this oil will cost so much money, but it's so worth it. I need to buy some more. Probably why that section was frizzy. I love this oil, it smells like honey so cool, y'all. Girl, we gotta take the glasses off. 